The world of golf has been going through a lot of changes lately, and the newest one right now is Nick Faldo leaving his position as CBS Sports as the lead analyst. This comes after a long 16 years of being with the Sports Channel. He's a former Masters champion, and it looks like another will be replacing him. Trevor Immelman seems to be their next choice right now. Let's get into details of this whole deal in this video. So, who is Nick Faldo for those of you who've been living under a rock? If you've kept up with golf, you know that Faldo isn't just some ordinary analyst. He's a British Open champion and a three-time Masters winner, which is definitely why he made such a great analyst at CBS Sports. He joined CBS back in 2007, being their lead announcer and working his way up to sports analyst. Before this though, he worked for ABC. Faldo is a legend in the world of golf and has been playing since the age of 14. He has a long list of accolades and was number one on the official world golf ranking list for a whopping 97 weeks, second only to Tiger Woods. Faldo's professional golfing career started in the year 1997 and he instantly made his mark in the golfing world. He was part of the European Professional Golfers Association and finished 8th in the European Open with which one year of going pro. He was also the youngest Ryder Cup player at the time in 1977 at just 20 years of age. He made his mark and everyone knew he was only going to go further from there. Nick Faldo has played golf all around the world and for a really long time considering he played till 2015. He's won major golf championships more than any other player in Europe and he was the PGA Tour champion in 1990 and the European Tour champion in 89, 90 and 92 with 29 Euro titles in total. His leg legacy is definitely unmatched, and we can tell that the guy just loves the game. This and his deep understanding of the game is exactly what made him such a fantastic analyst. We can see why they wanted him on their channels. Next, let's look at his career in broadcasting. After a long and legendary run in his career, Faldo decided to retire back in the 90s, but he still appeared occasionally in certain tournaments and he was still just as good. In 2004, however, he started working for ABC Sports, covering the PGA Tour with his longtime rival, Paul Azinger, and it was definitely interesting to see these two rivals comment in a game of golf together, and both of them were great at it. His dry British humor and his commentary really left fans surprised, considering he wasn't really known for being entertaining or social. Azinger and Faldo, along with host Mike Tirico, made a great trio, and fans loved them. The old rivalry between the two golfers and Tirico's reaction made the whole thing super entertaining and enjoyable for fans. Unfortunately, Faldo stayed with ABC only for about two years, because in 2006, it was announced that he'd be joining CBS Sports as their lead analyst for golf. He said this was an amazing opportunity for him, because it's the time that comes once every 10 years. Clearly, he was really excited for it. Faldo also said that he wanted to focus less on playing the game and more on a CBS sports job, which makes complete sense. We can really tell he was excited to join this network. Faldo also ended up having to miss the 2007 Masters event because of his position at CBS Sports, but he was still pretty happy to be the lead analyst of the PGA Tour at the time. Even though Faldo has been pretty successful in his broadcasting career overall, his reviews were better when he wasn't hosting a show alone. This meant that fans liked it better when he was at ABC with the host and his rival. But this didn't really affect his career at CBS as such, because he's still an analyst there as of August 2022. That's a long, long time to be in one place. Now, let's take a look at why Faldo is leaving. We just talked about the fantastic and legendary career that Faldo had, but now let's look at the person Faldo's leaving CBS. Faldo has had a pretty insane timetable for a 64-year-old, balancing his broadcasting and playing career for the past few decades. His schedule has simply been too demanding, and he feels worn down by his career. This decision was definitely not hasty, and Faldo said he had a lot of private discussions with his manager and wife about it. Clearly, this is the best option for him right now. The golfer has had the most hectic schedule for most of his career, and full-time broadcasting is pretty demanding. While fans are sad to see a legend leave the broadcasting world, they're also happy to know Nick can finally relax and enjoy his hard-earned retirement. Let's look at Faldo's replacement. Of course, CBS will replace Faldo, and it looks like their current choice is South African native Trevor Immelman. Faldo's latest broadcast will be the Wyndham Championship starting August 7, 2022. Immelman will replace him after this. CBS Sports has had had only four analysts for golf in the past 50 years, so Immelman has big shoes to fill, but fans are confident he can do it. He's played the European Tour, the PGA Tour, and the Sunshine Tour. Ever since he went pro in 1999, he's definitely proved himself with his multiple PGA Tour wins and other various championships. Unfortunately, Immelman had to take a break from golf back in 2008 because of tendonitis in his elbow and wrist. He took a year off, but even after he returned, it took him a while to get back into the swing of things, and he had a five-year winless streak. In 2018, though, he came back stronger than ever and kept going up from there. 
He's going to make a perfect fit for an analyst for CBS Sports because he knows the sport so well and is quite eloquent. Golf is changing pretty fast, but it looks like it's in good hands right now. Other news, Live Golf Final Prize Money. While we know that the Saudi-backed Live Golf Tour has taken the golf world by storm, it seems they're sticking to their promises of giving back to golfers. Clearly, they have enough to make some of the best golfers leave the PGA Tour. The prizes for their winners were just announced, and whoa, it's insane for a league that's just having their first tournament. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of money on the line for the Portland Invitation and the money looks something like this. Their budget is $20 million for all of the winners, and the player finishing in last is also guaranteed to make $120 grand. It doesn't look like a lot, different from the PGA Tour prizes at this point. But wait, the first place winner is supposed to get a whopping $4 million, and second and third will get around two and one and a half, respectively. That's insane. Maybe that's why everyone's leaving the PGA Tour for live golf right now. These prizes are just for individual wins. The teams that win and come first in the tournament will split an additional $3 million amongst themselves. The second team will split 1.5 and the third will split 500,000. Live Golf is definitely coming out with all the guns blazing in their first few tournaments and this is why they're a solid competitor for the PGA Tour. Some of their best golfers left the tour for Live and fans can't wait to see what the next few years will look like. Now, what does Fred Couples think of Live Golf? While well, Live seems to have a good reputation right now, certain golfers are starting to call them out on their strategies. Fred Couples has been one of those with his years of PGA Tour experience and has been consistent in calling out players for leaving the tour for the new league. He tweeted that he's disappointed in all the players who are doing so because it's ruining the integrity of the game. He's also uncomfortable with the fact that Live Golf is financially backed by the Saudi Arabian government. According to him, if he went to play in Live, his family would disown him. And this seems like a pretty strong opinion to have, but most PGA Tour loyalists have the same opinion. What do you guys think? Finally, who's entering the Live final right now? While Live Golf has many people riled up right now, the game is still on. And Dustin Johnson, along with Carlos Ortiz, is entering the final in Portland at Pumpkin Ridge. The 54-hole tournament has been going pretty great and it looks like all the players are focused and in their element despite all the outrage and controversy. Johnson is really happy with the way things are going for him right now and Ortiz is just super focused. There's still a fair amount of criticism but Live Golf's tournament seems to be going pretty great and the players seem unaffected. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you guys think of Nick Faldo leaving CBS Sports? And is Immelman a good fit? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.